hello everybody welcome to the channel once again so today i'll be showing you a way on how to um sample your arcade presets in logic and then obviously send them to your i device right so um to the to, to, to first things first as you can see i've gone ahead and created a project and uh, there are two methods of doing the sampling thing today so first thing you want to do is obviously load arcade onto an instrument track right Go ahead and choose a preset which I've chosen in this in this case, right? And then in the instrument in the effects rack, in the effects rack, click there and then go down to utilities, auto sampler, and choose stereo. Right? So now let's close this. Go down to auto sampler. When you first open auto sampler, um, all the keys are going to be selected, like the full range is going to be selected, right? But we know um, arcade preset starts from certain notes. So in this case, it's C2. So just drag this handle to C2, right? And then it ends up in C4. So drag the handle all the way down to C4. Okay. And... Uh, when you first open up um, Auto Sampler, this sample every, this, uh, what's it called? This section right here is roughly going to be on six, right? So every six semitones. But obviously, we need all the white keys. So I just drag that all the way to one, right? Because arcade instruments are only on the white keys. So um, sustain, on the first time, it would be around 10 seconds, right? But obviously, it depends on how long you want to sample the presets for. So I'm just going to write five seconds. So each noise is going to be five seconds long. And one more thing you can do is go down to where it says input and mess around a bit with the inputs gain, right? That's all for auto sampler. Just click on sample. So uh, this will open up finder. And here, what you need to do is create a folder where you want to save the instrument. So in my case, I'm going to um, save that on my desktop, right? So I'll just call it test two, test two, right? And then click on start. So this is going to start sampling the whole instrument. As you can see. And also it tells you in how many minutes it's going to complete the, the sampling. Okay, so that's pretty much done with um, Auto Sampler. You can go ahead and close that. The next thing you want to do is um, create an instrument track, right? And then on the instruments, go in and look for uh, Sampler. Choose Stereo, right? So basically what Auto Sampler does is it creates... Um, What's it called? A EX, was it EX24 instrument um, format, right? But obviously we need the samples. So now you need to go into um, sampler, click on the fit on the at the top button right here, click on load, and this will take you, this will open up Finder. So go to where you saved the the EX file, right? As you can see. Click on that and tap on open. Now, if you click on mapping, these are all your samples. Now, the next step is, um, the next step, next step, what the hell was it again? Wait a second. Um, do, 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 what the hell was it again? Oh, yeah. So the next step, you click next to where the, the name is, right? Click the go to save as right so finder is going to open and what you need to do now in finder is um go to a, a location where you want to save the instrument so in this case it's going to save the inch the the ex file and also save the pre the, the samples so i'm going to create a folder let's call it test right create the folder click save with audio data 
right so this is to save the samples and then click on save so now if we go back to find the to the desktop so if i go into test i have two files right so one is the ex file which we don't need and the other one is the folder containing all the samples and in this case also it adds the the note names right so that's the first uh, first way and obviously now you can go in and click on that folder share airdrop and then choose your ios device and then from there carry on so that's that is um option number one option number two so let's go ahead and close this so option number two just like in fo studio what i've done is i've gone ahead and created some notes right this is uh, basically in case you want to um, import this presets into segments and then you can time stretch the whole thing following your different projects right so uh what you need to do obviously like i said i've gone in and created some notes so range from c2 to c4 as you can see and every note is pretty much long like two bars long and for every note after every note i leave like a space before going to the next one and leave a space before going to the next one right once that is done you right click on the on the midi region so let's take this one down right right click on the midi region and then you can choose export as audio file right and now go into i don't know wherever you want to save it so let's go to my desktop so it's going to be called a uh, classic river classic electric piano right so just export and now if you go oh yeah wait a second let it finish <laughs> okay so now if you go into the desktop we should find there you go so now what you can do is obviously click on share right airdrop go in and find your ipad or whatever i device click on that now on the ipad as you can see we have um the thing come the we have the airdrop menu coming up so just go down and look for files or wherever you want to save it so in this case i'm going to save it in on my ipad right and click save so that's the sample right here now all i need to do is go now just go in and look for segments bring it up bring files up next um on the side dock drag and drop the sample in there close this now and then click on um divide right obviously click on slice and then divide and then choose um let's pretty much go for let's choose eight for now right eight let's leave it on eight right so leave it on eight and then from there so now you have each note in here then you can go obviously and then um set the slices according to each each zone so let's see that's pretty much right let's bring this one here and that's it guys so there you go so now you have your instrument Oh yeah one more thing i did forget so basically if you want to time stretch this to um a preset and all that once you start once you've met you finish chopping the whole thing just so just long tap on the bpm go down to where it says key detect and then you know go down to up or down to e because um the preset was in e minor i did forget to mention that beat detect you can leave it on four it doesn't matter to be honest and then where it says uh tempo detect just double tap or oh, come on so where it says tempo detect just long tap on that and then write in 130 because the bpm of of the project was in 130. now that's it so you have your oh yeah and one more thing just click on the name so where the floppy thing is click uh tap on plus and then give it a name so it was called top shot or whatever the case is and there you go and now you have your presets and you can import this in any DAW, use this in any DAW, whatever the case is.